what degree does that consumer engage with that message and actually start a interactive relationship you know with the brand which is what I call you know branding <clears throat> and so to buy that premise you know basically increasing marketing ROI is, is about how as a brand person do I invest more in branding stuff that connects and motivates behavior and less in advertising which is doing just doing impressions against a message with no, which no one listens to <clears throat> you'd think that online which has been a lot of time and attention focused in this conference on that would be a great place to do that. My premise is, and Avi Fawson agrees with me, is that it's new media, but it's old model, you know, it's, it's, and it's not a very good one. You know, TV at least, that the ads aren't blaring and trying to get in your way while you're watching the bloody TV show, right? Whereas online ads, it's exactly what they're doing. They're getting in the way of your primary consumer experience, which is being entertained or informed, and interfering with that experience, which, no big surprise then, in a, in a media where consumer control is paramount, the internet, they're voting with their clicks. And this is actually through 06, it's declined uh, substantially you know, since then. So as you're looking for, well, if I'm looking for a good branding medium, where do I look? What, you know, what do I find? And this is where, you know, to me, the, the whole avatar thing, you're not gonna really hear me say virtual very much, is a, is a great place for thinking about brands, and I'll tell you why. I mean, first, what is it? So, in Web 2.0, the MySpace generation, you know, the dominant model was they created a web page that represented themselves online. With the avatar generation, basically, all it's about is, now they're literally creating themselves, a representation of themselves, and live, living online. You know, just taking that avatar, that character that they create that represents them, and going online, and with thousands and millions of other kids living a digital life, um, which is very complex. And this is really the first generation, you can literally, in conversations I've had with people, tell people on their age, based on how they react to the question of virtual versus real. You know, the research we did in our virtual world at MTV was, they make no distinctions between this and that. It just, it's all part of their lifestyle. There's no difference. It's just, you know, when we started using the word, well, we want to call this virtual MTV, they said, well, that means you're saying that it's fake. And this is as real. The connections and things we're doing is are real for us as any other part of our life. <clears throat> so it's a great place for brands, not for ads, because it's a complex world with an economy, massive community. They're sharing and discussing and using virtual goods and services. Mm -hmm. They're living life online. So brands have an opportunity to present it not as advertising that interferes with the experience, but actually what brands do out in the real world, which is add value to people's lives, which is why few people fundamentally buy into the notion of brands and why it's you know, a massive industry. So the challenge for brands, as you think about a model, uh, which is, I mean, I've gathered information not only from the stuff that the 15 plus brands we did in MTV, but Hundreds and hundreds of brands have been into virtual worlds on every platform, range, and some, and Jared will talk about some very successfully and some many, many very unsuccessfully. And you know, the, the, the key thing I looked at is, it's, it's, you know, what's the model? How do you think about actually using this new media so you don't fall victim to the same problem that the banner ads are doing? So this really cool new media, but we're using an old model. What's the new model? And there, there's probably many, but this is the one that you know, works that, that we're working against as a company. So where it really starts is distribution. It's, this is as close as this model comes to advertising. When I say distribution, what we're really distributing is branded content. We're not offering advertising, we're offering them, you can get this content and you can use it to make your virtual life better. Your, let your experience as an avatar better. Um, and we're distributing branded content offers throughout the world. Consumers then, on a brand to consumer basis, you know, lean in or lean out. They interact, and we'll talk more specifically what I mean by that. Then ultimately, because these are communities, it gets virally amplified. If it's successful, and, you, and the key is, you know, you create great content that people are interested in, then it's gonna naturally propagate itself. 